In this video, I will talk about the difference between finding the average velocity versus finding the average speed. Here we have the position function, h of t is equal to negative 16t squared plus 80t. t is measured in seconds and h is measured in feet. And this kind of equation is just like you launch something from the ground to the air and then drop spike down. Right? Let's talk about how to find the average velocity first. It's always going to be this. V average is equal to, you always do the change in position and over change in time. So in this case, what we will get is the final time is when t is equal to 3. We have to plug that into the function so we can get the final position. So it's h of 3, and then minus the initial position, which is when t is equal to 1. Put it here, and then divided by the change in time from 1 to 3. It's just go ahead, do 3 minus 1, and that's it. Now let's just do a computation real quick on the side. h of 3 equals, you put 3 into all the t's, so negative 16 times 3 squared plus 80. H of 3, this is the time h of 3, all you have to do is for h of 3, we will put 3 into all the t's, so we have negative 16 times 3 squared plus 80 times 3. If you work this out, you will get 96. And then if you plug in 1 into t, then that's negative 16 times 1 squared plus 80 times 1. If you work this out, you will get 64. So right here, we just have to do 96 minus 64 over 2. And it worked out. We get 32 over 2, which is 16. And keep in mind of the unit, we have feet per second for the average velocity. And that will do it. Yeah. Now, for the average speed, it's a little bit trickier. Here is the deal. I'm just going to write down speed AVG for average. What we need is the total distance traveled during this time interval. So right here, I will just write down the total distance yeah, traveled and divided by the total time that we needed. Well, from 1 to 3 is of course just 2 seconds, but the total distance is the tricky part. Here is the side work. Because, like I said earlier, for this thing right here is that you toss something into the air, it's going to reach a maximum height and then drop back down, right? We have to find out the total distance. In order for us to do so, let's make sure where the maximum distance is. And this is just going to be a parabola. So the maximum distance for the vertex is going to be at t equals negative b over 2a. Here is the a, here is the b. So plugging and work that out, we get negative 80 over 2 times a, which is negative 16. 80 over 32 worked out, you get 2.5. So as you can see, at 2.5 second, you know, somewhere in between of 1 and 3, it has reached its maximum and then it dropped back down a little bit. So we will have to figure out what h of 2.5 is. That will give us the maximum height. So put 2.5 into all the t's, so we get negative 16, 2.5 squared plus 80 times 2.5. Use a calculator, work that out, you will get 100. So what's happening is this, you have 
when t is equal to let's say this is the ground and then when t is equal to one the h remember is equal to 64 yeah and then when t is equal to 3 h is 96 so it's a little bit more up here right this is when t is equal to 3 h is equal to 96 however this thing is you know just go up but at 2.5 it reaches maximum and then it drop back down a little bit this maximum is what we found earlier which is t equals 2.5 and that's h equals 100 so that matters as well because we have to find the total distance and we will just have to compute the distance from here to here first okay 100 minus 64 we get 36 so we have gone up 36 feet right here and then from here well it went back down but that's also the distance traveled we went back by four feet right you can do 96 minus 100 or 100 minus 96 doesn't matter you just take the absolute value of it right so perhaps i will do the final minus the initial and then take the absolute value because the total distance from here to here is positive so you look at it as four so for the average speed between one to three seconds the total distance is this plus that so i'll just write this down right here real quick we will do 36 plus 4 which is 40 and then divide it by the total time that we need which is 3 minus 1 which is 2 perhaps i'll just write it down like this because i'm about to run out of space the total distance is 40 over the total time which is 2 work that out we get 20 and of course this is v per second so they are quite different yeah especially if there is a change in direction then the average speed will be different than the average velocity and this is how you do it